penalty kill, all of a sudden top 10 has dropped to 11th, and there's been a couple of games that have been difficult. Uh, what happens? How do you guys make adjustments, albeit in three games that mean nothing in the standings here to get ready for next week? Oh, I mean, you just got to adjust for sure. You had a, a, a tough go last game and then the game before we got in two, so that, that'll hurt you in the, in the standings for sure, but um, we just got to be ready for playoffs. We got to get ready for that. We have three games to, to shore up things on, on the PK and, and uh, get back into the top ten and then uh, get rolling into playoffs for sure. It's source of pride when you have both ends of special teams, and I know you only play the one side. Uh, to keep those in the top ten in this league, I mean, that's not easy over 82 games. No, but it's important. Um, things are so tight at 5-on-5 five five that you need to have an advantage somewhere, and uh, to have the advantage on, on, on both ends in the power play and the penalty kill is, is big, and it, it's uh, a reason that you, you do well and that, that you make the playoffs. I think most playoff teams have good special teams. Austin doesn't appear to have missed a beat since coming back, I think, seven points in six games. What have you seen from him as he adjusts from coming back from injury and having missed 10? Yeah, uh, I mean, he, he missed 10 and then he missed 10 again before. So um, he comes back and he comes back strong. And uh, I think that uh, it just shows how dedicated he is when he's injured to get back there and stay in shape. And uh, he wants to be out there with us. So he loves playing, obviously. And uh, it's good to see him doing well and, and back. And uh, that's just a credit to him and, and the, the, the training staff in there getting him ready. And, and he goes out there and does his thing when he's, when he's on the ice. So it's good.